Hello and welcome to the review of Open Heavens Daily Devotional for Tuesday, 5th day of October 2021. Our topic today is counting your blessings. Counting your blessings. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for blessing us so much. Thank you for blessing us much more than we could ever finish counting. Thank you for filling our lives, our days, our hours, our moments, our every second with your blessing. Help us to be grateful people, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we ask, O oh God, even as we say thank you, that your blessings will never cease in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. As we review today's daily devotional, we ask, O oh God, that you show us more ways by which we can be grateful for all your blessings in our lives. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers, for we've prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our Bible text today is taken from Psalm 103, from verse 1 to 5. Psalm 103, 1 to 5, I read from the New King James Version. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Praise God. I hope someone is blessing the Lord right now. Our memory verse is from Psalm 135 verse 3. Psalm 135 verse 3. And it says, Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. Sing praises unto the name of the Lord always. God delights in the praises, in the recounting of his blessings that is done by his people. And it is quite important for all of us at every single point in our lives to look at all that God is doing, has done, you know, in our lives and to be grateful for it, to count our blessings and to sing praises to God for all the mighty blessings that we receive. Unfortunately, there are so many of the blessings of the Lord that we enjoy that we already think as, oh, that's normal. You sleep and you wake up, oh, that's normal. Oh, I woke up at a sort of time. Oh, I set my alarm. Oh, this other person woke me up and all of that. But there are people who their loved ones have gone to wake them up in the morning or at noon or whatever time and they couldn't wake up because there were no more. There were people who could not even get a good night's sleep like we did. So we should not actually ignore or take for granted any blessing of the Lord. Because it's a very dangerous place to be. When you begin to see the things that God does for you or does around you as normal, then your heart will get to the place where you start getting a sense of entitlement, believing that, oh yeah, what was his responsibility? Why, why can't he do it? And you won't be grateful. I pray that that will not be your portion ever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We see from our Bible text today, Psalm 103 verse 1 to 2, that David was probably beginning to forget the blessings of the Lord. And that's why he said to himself, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. In case you're trying to forget my soul, no, you can't forget, bless the Lord. He says, And all that is within me, so that it's not oh, just a part of me, just my mouth, or just um, my heart, but then your attitude, the way you look is not showing it. We should be able to, you know, show our expression of gratitude to God, even by our countenance, by the way we dance, and by the way we react, by the actions that we take. He said in verse 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He didn't say forget not uh, you know, the important benefits that he has given unto you. He said forget not all of it, meaning as much as possible, every single one of the blessings of the Lord is important to be remembered. 
and this will ensure that we're not taking God for granted and we're not taking the things of God for granted. We're not taking His mercy, His love, His benevolence for granted. And when we are children who are grateful, when we are children who show gratitude to God, then He delights in blessing us much more. And I pray that that will be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want us to look at our Bible text and 103 and look at some other things that David actually blessed the Lord for. We've talked about the fact that he said that everything that is within him should bless the Lord and that he should not forget any of God's benefit. In verse 3, it said, Who forgives all your iniquities? Do you really thank God for forgiving you? Are you really grateful to God for forgiving your sins? The Bible makes it clear to us that anyone that says he has no sin makes God to be a liar and God's word has not found place in him. So if you say, oh, no, I'm not a sinner, probably that is for someone else. And you need to check yourself because indeed let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. All that we have received as regards forgiveness, we have received by mercy. We have received by the death, resurrection, the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ for the remission of our sins. We need to be grateful for that consistently. And God will help us to never forget to be grateful for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Still in verse 3 of Psalm 103, the psalmist said, who heals all your diseases? Do you thank God for healing you? Most of the time, if we have some form of illness or weakness in our bodies, we get to pray and say, Lord, heal me. But when he heals us, do we really remember to thank him? Sometimes we have to go to the hospital and seek medical intervention as regards whatever ailment we might be feeling. But do we thank him that we get there and we meet doctors that even can administer medication and ensure that we are fine? Do we thank him for the nurses that are there that care for us? Do we even thank him for the innovation that brought the medication that we are taking? Do we thank him for the fact that we took the medication and it worked? Because some people probably have taken some different kind of medication or possibly the same ones we have taken and it had not cured whatever it is that was wrong with them. We need to develop that heart of gratitude. So we've thanked him now. We've spoken about forgiveness. We've spoken about healing. And do you even thank him for keeping you in health rather than even from healing you? Because yes, you might not be sick, but the fact that you are fine the fact that you're not ill at all means that you're walking in divine health. And do we remember to thank God for divine health? I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. In verse 4, it says, Who redeems your life from destruction? It is by the mercy of God that we have not been consumed. He has first of all saved us, saved us from the danger of hell. But even while we are alive, he ensures that our lives are kept from destruction. We're not victims of circumstances, of victims of, of, of clashes, of victims of maiming and all of that. It is by the grace and the mercy of God. He crowns us with loving kindness, with tender mercies, not because of what we have done, but because He truly loves us and because His favor is upon us. And these are some of the things that the psalmist thank God for, that we as God's children should consistently thank Him for as well, and of course for much more things. But like I said, we as God's children, so are you God's child? Because God, yes, sends his blessings to everyone, whether those who are his children or not, for the rich, the poor, whether we sing praises or we don't, there are the blessings of God that each and every one of us receives. In fact, the blessing of life, the fact that you are alive and well now, that you can see me, you can hear me, it shows that you have enjoyed the blessings of the Lord. So are you born again? Are you one of God's own? You must give your life to Christ and ensure that you're living as his child. First be born again and then appreciating his blessings and then your praises to him will not be an abomination. And if you're already born again, are you sure you're living according to the word of God? Because Romans chapter 6 verse 1 tells us clearly that shall we continue in sin and expect grace to abound? No, by no means. That is not what is expected from us as children of God. I pray that God will help us. He will keep us in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I want to challenge you to make a list of things today that you can be grateful for, that you will consistently be grateful for, that you consistently thank God for. And as you do so, you will have a renewed heart of gratitude in the name of Jesus. And when you make that list, don't make it a, a thanksgiving for today alone. Let it be something you perpetually do. And I pray that God will make you truly grateful. God will make me truly grateful. Someone who daily counts is and all our blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.